Hey everyone, so today I am shipping uh, this female juvenile tortoise. She is one of my last tortoise uh, from this season. Um, so she is a juvenile and here she is. Um, so when I get ready to uh, sell or ship a tortoise, I separate them and I put them in uh, this garden bed that you're seeing right there. And so right now I'm preparing her for um, shipping. So as you can see before, she was in a garden bed and that's just to separate her um, from the other tortoises and also to be easy to locate her because my tortoises, they do have free range of the yard. So it kind of saves from having to like spend hours, you know, the day of searching for the tortoise. Um, so right now I'm soaking her I am in my laundry room and in my laundry room I have this wash basin that I could just soak her in and I usually soak um, the tortoises for about 15 or 20 minutes because um, when they're getting shipped they get really scared and tortoises when they get scared they uh, defecate and they also urinate. Now defecating is not such a big deal, but urinating is a big deal because they lose a lot of their water um, reserve when they urinate. But besides from that, it's also um, very unsanitary and gross to have the tortoise lying in its own waste for all those hours before it gets open. I mean, it's, oh, so right here, I wanted to show you guys what a uh, female tail looks like. So you can see it's like a little triangle shaped. Um, but anyway, so gets, getting back to what I was saying, um, I soak them before I ship them for the fact that, you know, they're going to be traveling. I don't want them to be laying in their own ways. And I also want to hydrate them. So this right here is me wrapping her up. Now, if you guys looked at um, my shipping video for my customer in Albuquerque, New Mexico, I put that tortoise in a um in in a uh a baby wipe container <laughs> so if you guys have been following along with my tortoise page you know that i don't like to charge my customers for you know uh extra supplies or stuff like that i like to use whatever i have on hand that way i don't need to go to the store and buy shipping supplies so as you can see i have like this texas toast <laughs> carton <laughs> so that's what i'm using today um and now the good thing about reptiles especially about tortoises um russian tortoises they bury themselves they could dig as far down as like six or 12 feet of soil so you don't have to worry about them like suffocating or stuff like that that is like one of the questions that i get asked a lot like is it okay if it gets shipped will it get suffocate how will it breathe and stuff like that so with tortoises, with Russian tortoises, they are burrowing tortoises and they could dig as far down as like 12 feet or even further. Um, and what I always tell people is that they're okay as long as nothing is airtight. There are like some um, people out there, I guess, who don't really know how to ship reptiles and they think like, oh my goodness, the box needs to be airtight because I don't want it to get stolen or whatever you do not need to make it airtight, you know, um, there needs to be like, you don't have to punch holes in the box, but at the same time, you don't need it to be airtight either. So right now I'm going to show you how it's done. So you can see, I put some newspaper in there, but there's like a lot of space in there. There, I, There's, there's enough newspaper to get cushioned where I know that the postman is going to be like tossing the box. He's going to be throwing the box. It's going to be like flipped over and stuff like that. So there's enough cushion to protect the tortoise. But at the same time, nothing is airtight. I'm not packing every single inch, you know, so there's still... Um, that there's still movement and how I know that um, it's not airtight is because if the tortoise is still able to move that's how I know it's not airtight now how would I know if it's able to move or not well you can feel it um, I know you can't see it in the video but I could feel the tortoise moving so that's how I know and as you can see I'm not like going crazy with the tape or anything you know I just have one 
little tape and you see there's a gap right there so nothing is airtight and now on the other end what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the lid so that there's a gap on that end too again like I'm saying um, nothing is airtight this is just like a video for the customer so that she knows like you know how to open the box she sees the process of me shipping and preparing it but this is also for like those uh, potential customers out there if you know one day you need to ship your tortoise for whatever reason um, yeah now and you might think well why would I ever need to ship my tortoise right you will be surprised of all the different scenarios out there so tortoise is ready and